they made it through Tropical Storm Debbie of all that flooding and it ruined their homes. Now tonight with everything drying out, they've been told to get out. Dozens of people are being evicted from the Walden Pond Mobile Home Park. The landlord is giving them two weeks and they're telling our Chris Martinez it's not enough time. Judging by the flooded yards, you'd think this is pretty bad. But it turns out this is the best this neighborhood has looked in weeks. So you're looking at about three and a half foot maybe out here. That's how high Shane Jumper says the water was around his family's trailer as Tropical Storm Debbie moved through, causing the park's pond to overflow at dangerous levels. It never came in over the threshold of my front door. It came up through the floorboards. Since then, it's been a constant battle to dry out, only complicated by the daily rains. We have raw sewage running through the water now. And just when neighbors thought it couldn't get any worse. They gave us a notice. They gave us a notice and said we had to move out the, the 31st. This is a copy of that notice that neighbors say came out of the blue, citing ongoing utility and maintenance issues as the reasons why, giving them barely two weeks to get out. You know what I'm saying? We're on fixed incomes. By the time we pay our bills, we're lucky if we got $40 for the month. They simply want more time to move, with neighbors saying the unending cleanup from the storm has already sent many of them back, making it tough to find the funds to go somewhere else. Tonight, we hope to get some answers for people living here, but all our calls to the park's owner, just like theirs, have so far been ignored. You can't just throw him out like that. Man. He needs to get, come here and take care of his property. In Newport, Richie, Chris Martinez, ABC Action News.